Anoxia is the result of, uh, say, a sluggish ocean where lots of carbon or organic matter accumulates. This is being uh, respired or eaten by bacteria, and that consumes oxygen. Now, if you don't replenish the ocean often enough, it uh, turns into a dead zone. If you talk about this, say, deadly mix of uh, global warming, ocean acidification, anoxia, um, what we see in the fossil record is the fingerprint, if you wish, of this what we call a carbon perturbation, so a carbon-based um, uh, release of CO2, methane, and the outcome was different in different epochs. Uh, in most cases, uh, calcifying organisms were, uh, uh, were hit very hard. Uh, in one of the extinctions 55 million years ago, we saw a major benthic extinction, so what's living in the deep ocean. Uh, in another one, 65 million years ago, we saw a major planktonic extinction. And it's difficult to say which part of this mix is causing uh, which type of extinction. But at the end, we are not only talking about extinctions in the ocean. There's, uh, there's a feedback of the carbon system, the carbon chemistry of the ocean, which is a positive one on CO2 in the atmosphere, which intensifies global warming and will have an impact on land as well. The extinctions in the, in the, in the geological archive they, at that point, there were no humans around. So there was no overfishing, there was no pollution, and this deadly mix was enough. So what we're seeing now, or what we can expect for the future, if, is that it's going to be worse even, because we are hitting the ecosystem with more than just a carbon perturbation.